just got back from top five worst dates of my life and yeah i should have seen it coming first red flag he asked me if i wanted to go to olive garden um yeah i quickly curved that and suggested a place that wasn't olive garden yeah. uh -uh. What do you mean, what cunt, boy? My girl. What's wrong with Olive Garden? Can y'all tell me what's wrong with Olive Garden? <laughs> you fucking girl on them so face, do you know? What's wrong with Olive Garden? We go to a food hall that I suggest, and I pick a different food stall than he picks, and he walks away when I stop to order my food, so basically I have to pay for my own food. Yes. What are we, 12? Like, I mean, I didn't ask myself on this date, right? You asked me out. At this point, I'm like, there's no salvaging this at all. Like, you're not serious. You're not my type. We're probably talking for an hour and a half almost two hours i'm like feeling bad about it i'm like okay maybe give him a second chance again it's slim pickings again it's slim pickings out here like reconsidering going on a second date with him at the end of, at the end of this until until he gets on the subject of like dating apps and um, he opens up his hinge app and i'm like yeah I, I there's a lot of great options on top picks so i'm like see she's cute i think you know it's like the end of the story he's like oh yeah she is look pick is the objective of a first date us getting to know each other why do i need to take you out on a fancy restaurant for us to get to know each other olive garden is really not that bad this is the cheesecake factory situation all over again she's acting like this man took her to burger king or mcdonald's who do you think you are? That's what I want to know. Who do you think you are? Let me ask you a question, babe. Hmm. Let me ask you this question because we married. Sure. But, are. Okay. If I invite you out on the first date, right? Oh, Lord. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Come here. <clears throat> Why are you all the way over there? Because I'm talking shit, but if I invite you out on the first date, and we go in the Olive Garden. Is that a problem? On the first date? Why are you sucking in the air? I'm not sucking in the air. Hold on, no. Why are you sucking in the air? Wait I'm a minute. I'm trying to think about it. If you invite, if you're inviting me on the first date and you didn't ask me where I wanted to go, and I didn't tell you where I wanted to go, mm -hmm. then no. Oh, okay. Okay, I can see where you where you going with it. If if you told me where you wanted to go, of course I should oblige. Mhm. Mm but if you just invited me and said you want to spend time with me and you know just to be ready at a certain time, you get my Uber, you know, to meet me at a certain place that ain't gonna be at my house because you can't know where I live just yet. And you took care of all that and the Uber dropped me off at Olive Garden, then. I'm going to find something I like at Olive Garden. Hmm. Well, second part, because I'm, you know, she didn't appreciate the Olive Garden, so she just suggested some place where they should go afterwards mm -hmm. because she didn't want to go to Olive Garden. But she went to Olive Garden? I don't know if they ended up going. But they well, so what you mean afterwards? Meaning that, like, after she figured out they were going to Olive Garden, oh. she suggested some next place to go. And they went and... Hold on, hold on. So he, she picked a certain stall to go eat at, mm -hmm. and he wanted to go eat at another place. So he went to the other place to get his food, and she upset. Let's get him. Wait, like he went to another place to get his food, like another restaurant. Yeah. And he brought that food from the other restaurant to the place that she wanted. To no, go? no, 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 no. Uh oh. Make Excuse it make me. sense. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
it's that sparkling water. Don't, don't. It best ain't nothing else. Best, baby. It ain't nothing else. It's sparkling water. I'm saying. Give us a sponsorship for October. What's good? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Cut that check. Anyway, so let's say you now we be going to Park City Market. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of what, what they went to. And she went to this restaurant right here or this stall. Okay. And then he wanted, he didn't like that food, so he went to another stall. Okay. And so she was getting her food and he went to get his food at all. Okay, store. like Crog Street Market. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I guess she upset because he didn't pay for her food. And he went, and, you know. So she upset about that. Is it a date, though? It is a date. So if it's a date, I think that he should pay. He should have paid. He should have waited until she got her food, paid for it. Paid to, she was situated and then went and got his food. But I feel like, honestly, all that could have been avoided if... What I think should have happened, what I think happened, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I feel as though my man didn't appreciate the way she might have responded to the yeah, Olive Garden situation. That's immature. I'm, she did say that. It's immature. Like, to me, that's a sign of a petty man. And, like, if you're going to be petty cool. about something like me suggesting another place to go... When situations arise in a relationship or in life where it's more serious, are you going to maintain that same posture and be petty with me and make me have to wonder and guess or make me feel some type of way? Because if that's how you genuinely felt, you could have been like, on our next day, I would love to take you there. You know? If you didn't want to go along to get along. And honestly, he could have been like... The fact that she suggested another place without you being open to the experience of where I want to take her. Maybe she's not as open-minded as I would like for her to be. Is that something that I want to work on with her? Or is that just like um, a non-negotiable It's a no? But to act like you agree and then be petty about a situation, you know, that's not cool. Or maybe subconsciously, he, he went out of date mode. He wasn't attracted anymore. Like, maybe it wasn't even attention. That's maybe probably it was. Like, that's probably what it was. Oh, it's the nigga now. This the homie. Like... <laughs> I really think that's what it was. But still, you have to But look, it ended like, that. Let's do it. that's crazy you said that. Because she was like, after a while, they got back on a dating app, and she was suggesting girls for him to, to she was saying, she's cute. <laughs> so, you know what? I feel like that's what it was like. All right, you know what? Yeah, this date is over. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think that's what it was. I don't even think, yeah. It'd be like that. I, I just had a problem with the whole Olive Garden slander. If I was taking on a date Chick Fil A, how you how you feel about it? Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. That's not a date. Like we would have to already have been talking. Like we could have met up at the park or something, and then we got hungry, and then we went to Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A? Yeah, but like if you like meet me at Chick Fil A, or like I want to take you out in the Uber pull up Chick Fil A, I'll be offended. But if like. We went to a museum or we was just hanging out and we both got hungry and we went to Chick-fil-A. What about the Chick-fil-A on the south side? Where we went, the Hawaiian themed Chick-fil-A. But that would be a conversation like, oh, yo, let's go. Or we would have been talking about, have you seen that? Have you been? Have you been? No, neither one has been. And then it's like surprise. But if we just talking about a random ass Chick-fil-A, no. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I would have, I would have ate with you, but oh, I'm about to say you wasn't gonna eat. No, you was, but you in my eat. mind, you, I you did. <laughs> so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get Jesus if I took Jesus. Not to eat you. First of all, you, it wouldn't have been an easy day. She was like, I, I would have friend zoned you. I wouldn't have take you serious. I'm like, he clearly don't take me serious. Cap. That's not cap. Cap. That's not cap. You a friend zone me if I took you to Chick Fil A for a day? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because that means you think I'm a Chick Fil A kind of girl. Like every you just gonna put me with Chick. -fil -A. I told you the situation. Like if he was already hanging out and we got hungry, yeah, let's go grab something and eat real quick. It could be Chick Fil A. But if like your main intention was like, yeah, I'm gonna take it a Chick Fil A. She gonna love this. No. What 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 part of me give off Chick Fil A to you? You like chicken, right? Yeah, I like all kinds of chicken though, not just from Chick Fil A. Everybody give up what kind of energy. So it's just like, okay, to you that's... All right, all right. You don't give up chick No, I'm just saying, but if I did, I respect that that's what you see in me. There, there might be a 
deep down inside a Chick Fil A side to me. Oh, that you saw, it. but that means that that's the the level at which you see me. So is that what she's saying? That that my boy seen uh her as Olive Garden. I don't think an so. Olive Garden type of girl. I think that's different because like. Olive Garden is like entry level restaurant. It's not fast food, so it's like okay, this is maybe this is what he's used to. I can exp let me see if I suggest another place if he would be willing to open to take me. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like you can work with people, but it's like you have to have a standard. And um, if your standard for me is Chick Fil A, then I'm not willing to work with you on elevating that standard. And even again, some women if their standard. It's higher than Olive Garden and the Cheesecake Factory. There's a way to finesse that too. I don't think going on the internet, cursing a man out, or like trying to put him on blast. Not nah, you trying to put him or declining the date. Like you could still see it through because if you accepted the date, that meant that you were interested in the person. Just decide, like <laughs> you know, like uh, one and done. Or let me see if I could. Transmute this, you know, situation. See if he's open and taking me somewhere else next time. Let's just see how the date goes. Let me get to know him more. Let me see if I do want to spend more time with him. And if I do, then I'm going to suggest this place next. And see what it's hitting for. Mm. Is the, I don't think it should be immediate, like, no. But Let me again, ask you, though. What you think is the... What is the objective of a first date? I think an objective of a first date is to get to know the person. So should it matter where we go if I'm trying to get to know you? I think honestly, if that if you feel like it shouldn't matter where y'all go, then maybe y'all should do something fun and active like bowling, or do like a little mini golf thing or something active. Because when it comes to getting something to eat, like it matters. Like I'm not, I would be in my feelings if you took me to Chick Fil A. Ah, uh, not Chick Fil A. I was being funny. Okay, someplace else. That's. I don't know. No, so. Like, I, 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 so if, if 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 I I said I right, was going for a first date, I'm trying to figure out. We go to the belt line. We walk around the belt but line. I, th yeah, for me, I don't mind that because like I like nature. I like to walk around. I like being surrounded by stuff like that. But I have friends that like would rather, you know, talk to a guy, get to know him, and let him get his money up. So he could take her, like, do a, something fun, like an activity, and then take her somewhere really nice. Or just take her somewhere really nice. Because that's her expectation or their expectation. Me, I I don't really, like, I want to have to really like you. Like, I have to really like you like that for me to get dolled up to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Because you honestly might not be worth it. You know, but... A walk on a belt line and getting something to eat is worth it any day. I'm glad we married. Don't give me, give me that. No. I, why are you saying that? When was the last time we took a walk on a belt line? Huh? Even, huh? See, now you I'm just saying, saying, yeah. It's I'm just saying I'm glad we married because if, like, I was out here dating, shit, motherfuckers would probably be doing videos like this on me. They'd be out here exposing me. I'm not doing, man. Listen. Listen. What? What? Why you? Why you? Why, why are you looking like that? Cause I, you know. I'm not doing all that for no stranger. That's basically what I was trying to say. I'm not. I'm not doing all that. For, I'm not doing all that for no stranger. Okay. I can't. I can't see myself doing all that for no stranger. And that's okay, babe. You shouldn't change who you are for anybody. You met somebody, you know, on your level. Okay. I mean, my thing is, like, you love me. So I know you do anything for me, including you will take me anywhere I ask you to take me, whether it's the cheapest of place or the most expensive of place. So what's most important to me is to have a man that is willing to do anything for me, is generous, who genuinely loves and cares about my well-being, who wants to see me happy. Yeah, but the the only reason that I can do that now is because like you earned that. You earned that. I'm being honest. You earned that. You know what I'm saying? How I earned it, babe? Cause you the prize. So how I how I earned it? I'm not saying I'm the prize, but I'm just saying 
we both the prize. We're not, we both are. We both are the prize. So, but just being in this relationship and the stuff you've done in this relationship have earned you the right to. What did I do in this relationship? Yo, you know, at one point, let's think about it. At one point, I couldn't afford to take you to that restaurant that I took you to, like, what, last week? Or the week before? Yeah, but that's my point. Like, what do you, oh, God. I'm just saying, if I could talk to, like, young girls, I don't think that I would spread that message. Of, what message? Like, stay down with somebody until they can afford to take you to the places you want to go. Or you have to earn his respect and trust by staying with him when he don't have it. Why not? Because that might not... Why? Mm. She might not want to do that. That's not every woman's story. It's okay to be like, I want this certain kind of lifestyle from this man right here. Like, at this point, which means she probably should be dating somebody older. She in her 20s, she probably should be with somebody like... Well, actually, YouTube and everything is real now, so I don't know. But I don't think... That takes a toll on women. What I'm saying is, sometimes, you, a woman, staying down and doing all that stuff, it's not the most beneficial thing that's, that, that's best for her. Some women are built to be, like, builder women and hold you down and do all that stuff. And some women are not built like that. Some women are built to nurture a man while a man just provides without earning. Like, a man could look at a woman based on what she brings to him, like, making him feel like he's a king, making him feel powerful, all of that. He wants that in his world. That's enough. He... She has earned everything that she needs to earn from that man by her just making him feel like he's the best thing on earth. Okay. And that will get her everything that has that has got me here. But I did not do that. You know what I'm saying? Like my our way of where we got, it was like we held each other down, we built together. Okay. That ages women. I would not want my daughter to do that with a man. So you you regret holding me down? I don't regret holding you down, but that's not something that I, in my experience, would tell other women to do. Like uh, my Alicia, I would not tell her to be with somebody, a man that's like that she has to necessarily build with. Even if he don't, he don't have to be rich, but he got maybe he'd be willing to sacrifice now to handle certain things because she's worth it. You know, like it don't, it don't make me feel good to be like I. You telling me I earned your trust and thing. Like I want. Say, it don't make you feel good. No. So why don't it make you feel good? Because I, I, I like to. I want to be like a Disney princess. Like I want, I want oh, you to yeah, not like that, but crazy. you to look at me and be like. I was, yo, I was just. I said that in the video from yesterday. Yo, that's crazy. But it all. Boys I, want I'm gonna be that. honest. I don't feel as though. I don't feel as though just because you're a woman and, you know, you have a vagina between your legs, you should just get princess treatment. It's I not because you have a vagina in between your legs. So what is it then? It's because of, like, the woman that you see, the way that she's packaged everything, the way she speaks, the way she talks, the way she makes you feel, the way she looks, the... Thing that she brings to you, maybe the way she talks to you, maybe the way she touches you, the way you feel in her presence, the essence of who she is, should make you want to like treat her like a princess, to cover her, to protect her. She shouldn't have to prove to you by her physicality of what she can do or what how much it's money not... she has oh, to oh, like. Oh, oh, oh. See, what I'm saying, all right, you know, the saying behind every great man. There's a great woman, or there's a strong woman, or basically. Which yeah, one are you saying? Evil one. It's saying the same thing. No, it's not. All right, behind every great man is a good woman. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. For for me, a good woman is somebody who fits into those puzzle pieces that you're missing. So when. 
when I was struggling trying to do YouTube, or I was doing music, or I was doing this, and I was working that bum ass job, and um, you know, my bad, y'all. My my phone just acting up. Yeah, my hair look crazy too, y'all. I didn't know I was gonna be on video today. But anyway, when I was working that bum ass job, and like I we had the condo, you was holding it down, and that gave me the opportunity to work on all the stuff I wanted to work on, and that gave me the opportunity to get to a point where I can take care of our family, right? That was the missing puzzle pieces that I need. And I'm grateful for that. So now, as soon as, like, my YouTube checks start hitting, or as soon as I got that good-ass job over there, I appreciate taking care of you. I appreciate taking care of Sake Kim. Like, there's no... You never made me feel bad about... Damn, I'm fucked the right. Like you never really made me feel bad about it. Like I knew you had some problems with it because it, sometimes it was hard and you voiced that, but you never made me feel like a bum ass nigga. Whereas like, it's females out here that will make dudes feel like a oh, oh, this nigga's a bum ass nigga. Like if, if you was making me feel like a bum ass nigga, I don't feel as though I would have the the energy or the whatever it is to keep going. Like, I'll probably be trying to get rid of you, to be honest with you. But if I thought you was a bum, I wouldn't have been with you. Like, At, But I'm saying, exactly. So that's why I'm saying we, what I, what was missing in my puzzle was how you, how you handled the situation. And that's what situation. I'm saying. I'm happy I could be that for you. But, 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 my problem is a a chick or a female that will come in like, all right, this is me. This is who I am. You know, this is my essence and all that. And I deserve to be treated like a princess. If your essence does not benefit our relationship or benefit you pushing that man forward to where he can't provide, you don't deserve shit. But what I'm saying is, some men and women are wired differently. There are some men who like women that's like that. And that's the energy that they bring will propel them forward. And that's what pushes them. Having a woman like me at that time when I was like that would propel them. Because it's like, why are you trying to like relax? Why you have why you have the master plan? Like, I want to have the master plan. Just sit down for a second. I, I need you to be my cheerleader. I don't need you to do the shit, okay? Like, that's not what I need. So I understand, like, for you, women that bring that princess energy without, like, having the the, the builder energy. She wasn't in the trenches. If she if I'm she don't have, if she don't have the willingness to be in the trenches with me, so she don't So if you had a daughter, you would tell your daughter that you need to be in the trenches with your man. If you think that man is worth it, be in the trenches with him. Yes. Yes. Hell yes. I don't... I want... To be quite honest with you, this might sound crazy, but... I want my daughter to be, be able to stand on her own too without needing a man. Yeah, I think... The women who have... Who require princess treatment, who bring that energy, they are very independent. Some of them aren't and some of them are. There are women that make a lot of money on their own. But because they can do all that shit by themselves, that's another reason why they bring the energy like, you got to replace what I'm doing. My energy and my essence got to be enough for you because the energy that it takes for me to like to be doing work and providing for myself, I have to now pull on more energy to cater to you. To bring you the, this princess feminine energy that you like a lot. That's taking more out of me, especially on top of everything else that I'm doing, paying my own bills. Which is why the standard is so high. I don't agree with, like, just out the gate, like, you can't provide, you just dependent on men to pay your bills kind of thing. No. Yeah, I think that's trash. <clears throat> I think that's trash. I mean, I don't know. Because, like, again, some women, just some men just like 
the energy that women bring and they will like gift them things without the women doing anything. And then they the men are paying them. But I'm talking about women. be on Instagram. Anybody ever sent you a cash app? Just... My cash app is nowhere to be found. Oh. <clears throat> them boys that be just hitting motherfuckers up on the Instagram DMs. Send me your cash app, babe. What's your cash app? But that's send what I'm you saying. A, let me send you $100 so you can go get something to eat. And I'm, if she got 10 niggas doing that, then like, if she didn't have to do anything, then what's the problem? I don't think it's fair for women to like finesse men out of money. But if a man is just giving her money, what is And she ain't do nothing? Nah, bro. Women, so they, it's supposed to be in a state of receiving. That's receiving. That's receptive. Sure, your word gymnastics is crazy. It's not word gymnastics. Nah, it's, 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 it's word gymnastics, man. I think that's a problem. That's a problem, man. <laughs> out here simping for no reason. It's not simping. That's not simping? No. Let me ask you something. If you see somebody like two, one or two things. You see somebody that inspires you. And you want to add to the inspiration by sh by giving them a donation. That's not being that's not sent behavior. That woman's hold beauty, on. What cause am I donating to? It when I just randomly send a beautiful woman a cash. My beauty might have changed your day, and you want to say thank you by sending her money. What the fuck? Nah. It's some men that do that. It's some men that do that, and it's not a problem. Like. That's just, money is not that big of a deal to them. It's like, yo, I'm inspired. I'm motivated for the next 30 minutes to get something done. Here, have a blessed day. When you get lunch, think about me. Like, it's nothing. Like, they give it to them. Or you see somebody in, in dire need, and, and you want to assist them. Now, I remember we had a specific conversation about your cousin when he was donating to somebody's Instagram fund. Yeah, but I could tell his energy wasn't in the right place. His energy was, he was doing it so that, like, he could eventually get something in return. That's why most men do it, though. Ain't no man just randomly donating to your, your cause without wanting some cheeks in return. <laughs> okay, that could yeah. be true. But I felt like, in my cousin's situation, after a certain point, he was going to become resentful. I feel like other men that do that, it's like, oh, I'm tired of doing this. I ain't getting what I want. Just on to the next. I feel like in his immaturity, he kept on looking at his cash app and he added up all of what he sent and he ain't get nothing in return. But that he was gonna be pissed at himself and that girl. Alright, so that's what I'm saying. How you saying that a dude So I feel as though no man It's very rare. I'll say that. It's very rare for a guy to send a donation. And donation is, is really not the right word. <laughs> because when you donate something, you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart. You're not expecting anything in return. Most men that send money to women, they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it as an opening to expect something in return. That's, that's that don't mean they have to get it. I told you for my. That life. don't mean they have to get it, but still, the intention is still to get something in return. They already got something. They looked at her beauty for free, and they was inspired. So maybe they felt like they wanted to pay her. No, that's that's your resolve. That's how you feel. Ah, right, okay. he sent that money because you know my beauty did this for him. But oh, on the flip side, he's expecting something in and return. And he's not gonna get it. And then when he realizes he's not going to get it, he'll stop. But you've already got what you wanted. And he got what he wanted most of the time. No, he did not. He did not get what he, he wanted. He got plush eyes and me the money. No, he did not. He wouldn't have sent it if he ain't getting no plush eyes yet. That was, let that be a lesson for him to stop doing that shit. That's what I'm telling you. The difference between men not, not men and boys. Like, my cousin, when he did that, I felt like he had a boy's mindset. Like, he was going to continue to send that girl money until he got upset. A man sending a girl money, and then he's like, oh, I'm I'm tired. Like, I'm not getting what I want. He's going to stop sending the money once she gets it. He's going to be embarrassed. But he's not going to be upset. He might be embarrassed at himself, like, oh, damn, that's wild. And then keep it pushing. 
That's like OnlyFans subscriptions. Like, niggas ain't never gonna touch the girl in real life, but they still pay it until they stop. Whatever she's provided for her, whatever fantasy that she's providing, like, it's enough for him to want to pay. And then when he's tired, the fantasy is no longer being fulfilled, he'll stop. But he won't be upset, like, dang, I got bamboozled. Because if that was the case, strip clubs wouldn't exist. Only fans wouldn't exist. Like, that's just how some men operate. But if you're going to do it from a place of malice, like, I, damn it, I done spent all this money, I ain't get nothing. No, then don't send it at all. But if you sit in there like, yo, I appreciate this, and I'm going to keep on sitting there until, like, I feel like, you know, it ain't never going to happen. Or let the, me the ask thrill you, is gone. Let me ask you a question. If your son, if our son was one of those men, if you found out that our son was just randomly sending money to women, what would be your advice to All him? his bills was paid, though? No, 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 no. You're okay with our son randomly sending money to women? If all his bills was handled, is that okay? All his bills paid, whatever. He's just randomly sending money to women. You okay with that? If that's what he wants to do with his money. If his bills is paid, his investments is good, and he got extra money to spare, that's what he want to do. Are those women abusing him? Are they, what are they doing to him? What, what was like, you can't spend no money send no money to these women. They just treacherous. Like, what What would be my explanation? What are they doing for him? As his father, you need to ask him that. I'm a woman. I understand what they're doing for him. If you don't like what he's doing, then, like, you need to talk to him about that. What are they doing for him? Providing him a fantasy that he really like. I don't know to what level or to what extent, but honestly, that's none of my business. As long as he's taking care of his business... As a man, if that's what he wants to do, now if he was like a sex addict or something, then no. But if he's just randomly sending money, like that, come back. You may. You wonder what is the harm in that? Now, if he was doing it, like, cause I want her to like me, and oh my god, I'm gonna stand out. If it was coming from a place of, like, pick me kind of thing, then I'd be like, no, baby boy. But that's usually where it's coming from when dudes randomly send money to women. Okay. Niggas go to the strip club. To get chosen. And they never do. And they never do. You're damn skippy straight. But yet they come back. That's my point. That's a problem. Okay. Okay. I'm not, you, I'm, I'm gonna... Exhaust my energy and resources to try to convince my son of something that's not harming him, killing him, making him broke. To do something, to stop doing something, he'll he'll figure it out. Yeah, men and women think so different. It's the principle behind that. That's that's simp. That that is simp behavior. That is simp behavior. You 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 can roll your eyes. That is simp behavior. If your son or anybody you know is randomly sending women money just to send it to them, oh, you look good. Let me send you some money. Simp behavior. What? 